Hi everyone. So we just learned how a container ecosystem manages the processes and how they appear within the scope or within the isolation of a container and how it appears to the host OS. Now let's demonstrate this capability through a small program. So there's a small program called simple network.c that I have created. So what I do here is, you know, let me explain the code to you. So when the in the main process, what I do is I do a clone. So Linux system does not use the conventional Unix systems fork. There's a similar this is a system call that is similar to fork that is available in the Linux system called clone. And as you can see here, you know, I am say, saying that when you run this program, this main program, please make a clone of this program and create new PIDs. So this is, you know, this is the process through which you get a new PID, new process tree in the child process as against you know the 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 PIDs or the process tree that the host system sees and you also tell that you know this is the child process that you need to start executing when once you fork this application and what happens here is you know I have printed the process ID so as you all may know in the Unix operating system the, the the parent always receives the child process ID because you know there's a process there's a method called get PID and get PID so every child can find out who its parent is by using the get PID command but for a parent to know who its child is it has to actually store those values so the clone process will actually return the PID of the child process and you print that PID of the child process. Current process ID is the process ID of this main program and parent process is the shell through which we will execute this main program. So you know we'll, we have compiled the simple network.c program and we have generated an executable and when we type dot slash a dot out what happens is it, as I explained earlier the shell forks itself and then it execs or rather overlays the a dot out on on the child of that particular process and so that is what it actually does now in the in this program there's a second fork that is happening within the a dot out program right so there's a fork which is happening without our knowledge by the which is done by the shell and there's a fork that we are doing or rather the clone that we are doing within this program now this clone will invoke the child process and in order to make sure that the parent goes through first we sleep for one second and now within this container boundary or the container scope we will print what is the current process id and what is the parent process id so the parent of this child process is this main process and the current process id is actually this PID. Let's see what happens when you run this code. So I come here, I have already compiled it even before getting into the source code. Now when I say dot a dot out, let's not bother about the other details that are getting printed for now. We'll come to that soon. But if you look at it, it appears that the clone process failed because you know I tried to run it as a so clone is a system call and in order to invoke the system call I actually have to run it as a super user so let me clear the screen again and I say sudo dot a dot out now this time the program runs fine and you can see here that the process ID of the child is 73928 the process ID of the shell that is running within this terminal is 73924 and the process ID of the main program is 73927 so 73927 it forks itself and you get the next PID immediately after that but when you come to child space so that was the parent space right that was parent space 
that is how the host always sees it as whereas when it to come to the child space you can see that the process that started it is zero the main program because you know we don't have a shell like uh, docker which that gets executed when you launch the container right so this is a program existing running independent of docker so this process id zero so that's a main process id as it sees it within the child scope or the child container and the current process id is one so so this is how the docker ecosystem actually works so within within the container jail or container shell the process id start from zero and it goes all the way up till one uh, up till the number of processes that you launch but they have a global scope here at the on the host machine and this is the real process id for those processes thank you for listening